Hey guys, welcome to Briefing Room episode 3.5. This is a Briefing Room episode that shall be exclusive to my channel. It will not be appearing on Machinima Respawn or any other channel. It is just for you guys that are subscribed to me and uh, want to see uh, this gun in action. Today's weapon review will be the Spaz-12 from Black Ops. Let me say, this gun is incredibly fun to use, alright? Alright, let's uh, dive in with some stats first off. Each time you fire, it will uh, send 8 buck shots down the range, and each one of those will do 30 damage per shot, up to 15 meters. So you got 15 meters to work with uh, for full damage. After that, there will be a significant drop off that will basically reduce them down to about 10 damage, and then eventually they'll just disintegrate into the air. I know, it's dumb. Alright. This bad boy will hold 8 shots at a time, with a 312 rounds per minute fire rate. It's it's pretty good. Don't be afraid to mash the trigger. Even though I have a slow trigger finger, I do max out the rounds per minute that this thing is capable of. I can't uh, get it to fire as fast as my finger will take it. But it is considerably faster than the stakeout and with uh, very consider uh, comparable damage, rather. It is definitely a great weapon to use. It is capable of one-shot kills. Since the time I recorded this footage... Uh, I have learned some more details about how the shotguns perform in Call of Duty Black Ops, which uh, make them very interesting and fun to use. Uh, for the reload rate, let's get that out of the way. It will take 1.5 seconds to reload the first shell of the reload process, and then abs uh, after that it shall take only half a second for every shell from there on out. So it's, it's about what you would expect and uh, just try to reload behind cover when you're out of the action. If you uh, run it completely dry and people are around, swap to a secondary, really. You guys know that. But let's get to the actual fun part. A little known fact about this weapon is that the Spaz-12 suffers no damage falloff whatsoever from using the suppressor. You will not see your shots do less damage at uh, closer ranges. And it's really nothing but a bonus. Oh, I like this. <laughs> And bam, got him. Ah, throwing knives are well. I guess tomahawks are kind of fun, aren't they? But anyway, back to the uh, silencer. There is absolutely no negative down downfall of using a silencer. It will keep you off the radar and will not reduce your damage in any way whatsoever. As you see there, you just work the trigger, and it's got decent range. Of course, they weren't looking at me, but that's exactly how you want to engage with a shotgun. You want to engage on your terms with them facing the other way. And hopefully with them not having a clue where you are, but that guy did. Oh well, what are you going to do? Okay, another neat factoid about Black Ops shotguns is that they do, I repeat, do benefit from aiming down the sight. If you aim down the sight with a shotgun, you will notice a uh, decent increase in the uh, spread being considerably uh, tighter. It's not such. It's not like an ACR type grouping from MW2, but it will be tighter, and that will... Uh, better serve you for a little bit longer range with keeping your uh, buckshot all nice and close together to make sure uh, to give you the highest chance possible to have all eight of them hitting your target at uh, that range. Now as you will see here I uh, clearly did not aim down the sights I don't think in any of these uh, shots it was a factoid I came to learn later and I decided I wanted to do my best to uh, show you guys that tip as well as the silencer tip. It is a very fun weapon to use I uh, have recently prestige, so I have lost the spaz, I missed the spaz, I love the spaz. Uh, but um, down at the bottom of the screen you will see uh, my recommended setup for uh, pulling out the spaz. Uh, you'll see the icons down there with uh, what I equip, what I run with it, and uh, it can be a lot of fun to use. you got to know your maps though. you got to try to stick to close engagements like this. You want to play like hide and go seek. Oh, I should have had that guy. I don't know if he spawned there or just came in, came up uh, running whenever I wasn't looking, but uh, if you know these close quarters maps, you can stick to the small areas like these corridors back here or in the uh, previous footage there. You can really do some work and have some fun with it. It is a fantastic weapon for a good time. It may not really lead, uh, lead to those beast scores you may be hoping for, but uh, it is definitely fun to use. I highly encourage all of you guys to check it out and have some fun with it. It, uh, it, it's, it's just fun, it, and that's why we play the game, right? We play to have fun. We don't need to be, like, doing the try-hard, only, like, the top Friendly weapons and everything ball. like that, and perfectly... Like, you don't got to min-max every game to try to do your Friendly best. And you want to have fun with these things, and this is just a gun that you pick it up, you equip it, and you go out there, and you have fun. 
don't really know other way to put it. So this video is winding down. I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode of the briefing room. If you have any uh, footage of you using the spell Spaz 12 in action from Black Ops, go ahead and submit a video response, and I will go ahead and approve that. So uh, let me know what you guys think of the Spaz. If you uh, give it a try because of this video, be, please be sure to let me know how it uh, worked for you and how much fun you had. I shall see you next time, guys. Uh, this video is quickly coming to an end. Remember to leave a comment and a rating if you would be so kind. I really do enjoy those ratings. They help the channel grow a ton. So take care, guys. I am out of here until next time. Class dismissed.